So, the other week I asked for you to send me some questions uh, that I could answer in this meet the artist situation, so I'll answer them accordingly. Okay? Question number one. Hi, how's it going? Oh, it's, um, that's alright, thank you. I was just like, feeling fine, yeah, yeah. Number two, how are you doing? Yeah. Not well, I suppose. Number three, where do you get your ideas from? Well, this is, um, well, well, I write mainly, I've written for mm, 15, 16, 17 years or something, 17 years. And so I've written two, three thousand short stories over that time. So a lot of my pictures stem from those stories. Some are taken specifically, uh, I'm recreating the story as a picture. But others are just an element like a sentence, oh, that's a. And then I use it like a description, I might do, uh, and make a, a picture out of that, and so forth. In recent times, I've been like cannibalizing myself. I've been writing stories about pictures I made up ad hoc and making pictures of stories I just wrote. In, I only wrote the stories to come up with an idea for a picture, so the two as such. But I'm trying to move away and keep my stories stories and make pictures just the pictures that I made exclusively for the pictures. So, But other than that, uh, my idea is uh, you think real hard in your imagination and I take a couple of, uh, two or three, uh, some elements and think, oh, or I'm walking along a lot of the time and I see something and then a germ of an idea matures into eventually snowballs into uh, some kind of an image, like I might see um, a penny on the floor, and then I think, oh, what, what can I make a picture of a penny on the floor about? Maybe like a, like, a, like a fight over it. There's like loads of people all fighting over that penny because they're all desperate for money these days, or something like that. And it's like a war. It's all just based on getting that penny because they're so desperate. Like a, like homeless people, a big war, like a civil war, all over this penny. Well, I just made that up. I don't know. Uh, I've never used that. But, and so on. You know, that's where I get ideas from. I'm you know, just thinking of things. Number four. How did you come up with your style? Well, I came up with my style... Um, well, because my name is Richard. If you notice my pictures, they're very angular. Okay. Straight lines here and there. It's because my name is Richard. It's rigid. Rigid Richard. You see? So it's like my pictures are very rigid because the idea comes from myself. Say like your name is like Sunny. It'd be very like pictures are all sunny and light and hot, warm from the sun. Your name is Brian. It's like brain. It's like the textures of a brain all like bumpy and like, like veiny as well. Like all like. Uh, grotesque in a way, like that. Oh, your name is... Um, I don't know. Like Mark. It's like loads of Marks everywhere. Like that. And just Marks and that. And that's a question from uh, Peter Acrylics. So, in your case, I would say, like, if you got Pete 
and you like made sculptures out of it, like about your family members and things you're interested in, all like Peter, then put it in a kiln and it would harden, and you're left with a beautiful sculpture. Maybe you could paint it too, but the texture of the peat, you touch it and it feels like something. Yeah? So that was that. Number five, your masterpieces are riddled with such magnificent textures. Textures, how come? Well, I think a lot of that was because I didn't leave my house for eight and a half years, between um, 13 and 21. Yeah? And I spent a lot of time alone in a room. Just a, not a very big room either. But the walls were papered in wood chip. So there's like a, a great feeling of that all the time. And like I didn't brush my teeth. I was like, I've been mad all the time. I didn't brush my teeth that often, a few, a few times a year. So I'd be scratching the plaque off all the time with my teeth would be. I could feel it. I could feel last week's dinner on my teeth, basically. So I didn't bath that much, and little patches of dirt on me. And I feel like little bits on my thighs, maybe like it feel like coarse, and I could scratch into it. And like lines would be on it if I did that, and stuff like that. And you know, that those days are over. But this is like an intensity that um, amount of time on your own where little things like um, like wood or little, like anything like the carpet and there was a lot of dust around and things would feel like that dust and you know textures like that I, and so I guess it's become part of me and it's in in my work like a lot of textures isn't it? and uh, six who has influenced you, me. Well, I say, I wasn't that interested in art when I started out. My pictures were just um, simply swapping heads of friends on already made photographs, and then it'd be like usually a sexual thing, and the one like a, a teacher having sex with my friend. Or the, but it gradually evolved into like. A collage of all, like, all completely my own and then into something else. But it started out just as a, like a jokey kind of thing, but I liked the process of it and it went on and on and on. So, um, but influences, it's more like in the last year when I've got more into art and reading books about people looking pictures up of other artists. Some like my last piece was called Waving the Dachshunds Off to Sea and that was because that was influenced by Turner because pictures up, to, up until then had been gradually getting darker and darker and the last one I did before this one I was wearing sunglasses because my eyes were sore and the colours were dark and it was like hard to see so this one the Dachshunds I decided to make it full of light and bright, the brightest I've ever done a picture is based on Turner because I knew he worked with light. So like stuff like that are my, you know, more, more, a semi-tribute I'm doing things of at the moment. But it's not, it's not them, but it's just a different ideas. And, so, and, so. and number seven, are you alright? 